Welcome to part two of the Adipose's Guide to Suite FX. In part one I showed you how to install it and how to get it working with the configurator. So check that part out if you have already. Um, and in this part um, we're going to be doing your first tweaks using this awesome tool. So let's get tweaking. Okay, so here I am in Batman Arkham City. Um, now I have, um, I'm running mine windowed um, to make it very easy to see uh, how I'm customizing this game, but that is going to make uh, the, the game quality look pretty horrible. And obviously if you really want to see the, the full effects of what Sweet Effects can do, uh, run it full screened um, at high graphic settings and it really does look gorgeous. But for the sake of um, clarity, um, this isn't going to look great, but the, the, you should be able to get the idea of what's going on. So on the uh, left, top left hand side obviously I've got um, Batman Arkham City and if I um, alt tab out of the game um, I can, I've still got my, my configurator uh, down here. Now what I can do is now tweak Batman, uh, tweak, tweak all the settings I've got on, on, the, on this graphics tool and save the config, go back into the game, hit my reload key and see what effects it has had. Um, and, and, and in the future videos I'm going to be going um, through most of these ideas in a lot more detail, kind of explaining exactly what they do and what effects you can get out of them. But for now I'm just going to give you a basic overview into what it's doing. Now, one of the things I find when I'm in game and I'm using the toggle key on and off, and I'm going to, I'm going to press it now, is that sometimes the effects are so subtle I'm not actually sure which is which is on and which is off. Now that doesn't mean it's not having a difference. Now actually I can see it because it's the sharpness. You might not be able to see it um, because of the uh, the quality of this particular video, but that's off and I can see Batman and the walls in the background are actually pretty blurry or blurred slightly and that is on and all of a sudden the walls in the background snap into focus. Batman's eyes suddenly become a lot more clear. Um, but one little thing I do to make sure I'm always clear exactly which is on and which is off is come down to this Vibrance tool. Now Vibrance is all to do with um, how saturated the colors are and what we do now is we use the configurator to adjust the amount of effect this one is happening. First of all make sure that Vibrance is on so you've got a tick here and then when you come down here you've got all of the different settings within Vibrance. Now Vibrance only happens to have one setting but if I go into say Luma Sharpening you can see there there's, there's one, two, three, four, five different settings uh, to, to, to play with. But if I go back to Vibrance this is what it does and then the number we need to play with is here and it, it gives you a guide around telling what it does and here values to be using um, minus one to one. Now sometimes you can actually go above the limits that it says but this is a rough guide as to what is useful and if I um, go for a, a very very high number you'll see the obvious effect that Vibrance have. So I'm going to change this to 0.95 and hit save new config, come back into the game unpause it. I'm going to press the reload button um, to reload the config which is now done and now you should be able to see the difference. That is um, on, that is off, that's on, that's off. If you look at some of the yellows in the window or the red of the dumpster see how it's sudden, those colors suddenly become a lot stronger. Now I've seen a lot of people post up screenshots of games and one effect people really love is to put up um, the vibrance um, really really high because they enjoy these colours. Now I'm not necessarily sure that makes um, for a better game myself but that's this is the beautiful thing about Sweet FX is that it is customizable to what you like. If you like a very very colourful game you can do it. If you like a more bland effect you can do it. Now of course with the vibrance tool if I come back out I could go the other way. Um, for just for funsies, let's set it to minus 0.95, hit save new config, come back in, reload the file, and now it actually takes me the other way, down almost down to black and white. So now that's normal, and that's not. That's normal, and that's with 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 sweet FX. And now let's um so this kind of shows you what, what the way basically Sweet FX works. You, you pick a tool, you customize it, and it gives you the effects you want. So let's now go for um, something a little bit more reasonable. Let's change it to positive um, 0.35. And then you, we're just going to turn on the effects we want. So I'm going to turn on Bloom, which is going to bring out the makes lights bleed into their light. Sorry, makes the bright lights bleed their light into the surroundings. So that's going to improve the uh, light in the background. Let's go back into game, see what effects that has had. 
unpause. Oh, actually, I forgot to save new config after doing that. That's important. Now, there is a little nice little box here that says save on changes, and if I hit that, every time I just change a number anywhere or, or change a tick on or a tick off, it will automatically save. Um, so that, that can be pretty useful if, you, if just like me, you, you keep forgetting to press save new config. So let's come back in then, reload the file, and this is now my current SuiteFX setup. That's off. That's on. And then now what it comes down to is what do you want to do with the picture? This is where the customization comes in. Do you think this now looks um, how you want Batman to look or do you want to customize it further? Now I'm going to look at that and I'm going to say well I like the, the colors as they are. I like the way that big bright light in the background is now really kind of bleeding around and, and giving me uh, you know quite a lot of character in, in from that spotlight. But I'd like to make more of these shadows that we've got around here because Batman's already quite a gloomy game but it's not really a dark game. Um, although that's kind of the way it goes, but I can but I can do that by um, go playing with the contrast. Now the contrast is in this one here called curves. First thing I need to do, turn it on, and then the amount of contrast I want. And at the moment it's set by default to 0.3, and I think that's going to be enough. Uh, so I'm going to hit save new config. I didn't need to do that, but just just out of force of habit, come back into the game, reload the config. Ooh, and now look at that. There's off. And there's on. Can you see now that the darker areas of the screen have now become even darker, and the lighter areas of the screen have now become even lighter? There's off, there's on, there's off, and there's on. So I'm now really starting to bring some beautiful character um, into this uh, already very, very good game. And and this is really how Sweet Effects works. You just keep tweaking, you keep playing, you share your, your, your presets with friends, and you make the game look as you like. And in future videos, I'm going to be um, going through some of these settings and showing you, uh, you know, what we can play with and and the the different effects that we can get out of this. Um, but it really comes down to what do you want your game to be. Now let's have a look at some of the games which might actually require a bit more tweaking before you can get this to work. So good luck with your first bits of tweaking using Sweet Effects. It is great fun and really can make um, a huge difference to certain games. Um, in please give the video a like if you uh, have enjoyed watching it and do subscribe to make sure you don't miss the future editions. Um, in the next part, I will be looking at some of the more stubborn games that you've got to do a little bit more work to do uh, to actually get uh, Sweet Effects working with them. But luckily, most games uh, work straight away, so it isn't too much of an issue. But I will look forward to seeing you then. Take care. Goodbye.